My Grandma's Kitchen. Another poem that I've written. Well, my grandma's kitchen resembled the inside of a steam engine. Like an engine driver, she'd be asserting, directing, instructing her helps. The sounds clang, bang, whistle, steam emanating activated the whole household into another day. Was she an architect? I wondered. It was she who had designed her own territory, the stone slabbed flooring, the grey stone fireplace, where the sun smiled at her all day long. The cuisine queen, happy in her place, palace, place of worship, or perhaps her parlour. If one stepped into her domain, on the step stool you had to remain and listen to her spellbound, the yarns she wove out about ingredients, dish, even a utensil, so lovingly, haltingly, reminiscing words of a mother, a friend, or a neighbor. Sometimes she would rattle me when she'd start, cook, a girl ought to. Tormented, I'd slink away. Her laughter laced, her laughter laced word, echoing behind me. You'll remember me, little one. The kitchen sure is a girl's domain. Her pulkas were perfect, round, soft, fluffy, flexible. How much water for the dough? Time to knead the dough was her forte. I wonder, was she a sorceress? A strict vegetarian herself, the variety of her non-vegetarian dishes were to die for. Never have I tasted such stuff ever since. Wonder was she a fairy? Any innocuous veggie was turned to a gourmet deli. Wonder was she a magician? The puddings and pies she conjured out were out of the world. The resultant cuisine, a prayer, an offering. A lovely spread that adorned the dining table at every meal. Unbelievable. Was indeed fit for the king, her beloved husband, her kith and kin, who rewarded her with a glorious grin, as if in salute to her prowess. In answer, her diamond nose pin sparkled joyfully in her radiant Praise. So this is the second part of it that you see.